And that way, if any press are listening to the police calls, yep. they'll hear it. And they'll, they may want to. Okay, I'm doing a live video right now because the bridge that the developers built in Island Green has collapsed. There is no barrier to stop anyone from coming down this road. Even, even though it's a new road that they're building, kids on bikes who ride through the community all the time or anyone, someone who's lost, could drive right through here and this bridge up here has collapsed. And I'm going to walk up there and show you the dirt. All that from under the bridge is down in the in the pond. Um, they didn't build this very well at all, and uh, anyone could fall in. The uh, we had flooding. We had almost three inches of rain here um, yesterday, which flooded behind my home and the conservation area next to my home. And this is what that rain has done to this new bridge that they built here. Shoddy construction work, for sure, if it's going to collapse. But I want to show I need to show what they're doing here to Island Green. Look at this. Look. It's collapsed. The road. Look at the road. Look at that. It's all, and all the dirt has gone down into the pond. I'm almost afraid to walk over there, but... This is the shoddy work that they have done. And they don't even have it blocked from anyone, you know, who could, like I said, accidentally drive up here or kids on their bikes, you know, come up here. This is what they've done to our community. This is what they've done to our pond. Two, almost three inches of rain yesterday. And this is what happens. The road collapses. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. I am going to stop them. I'm so done with these people. This is outrageous. They don't care about our safety. Absolutely don't care because they didn't put barriers up. Anyone. I came up here. Well, I walked anyway, but I could have driven my car up here, through here. I could have fell in. They don't give a crap. They left it open. Someone could have been hurt. This is ridiculous. County Council, Planning Commission, all you guys need to see this. Stop messing up our community. Look what you've done. Look what you let them do. I'm so done with you all. Making sure I got this all on film. I'm not going anywhere. We've called the police so we can. Oh, look. There you go. <laughs> Call the police so we can get a record of this so they can put up a barrier so no one gets hurt because we care about the people in our community. Evidently, no one else does. Secret. Nature makes me calm. <laughs> oh, there it goes. But this pisses me off. You hear?
hear me, Gary Loftus? You hear me, County Council? This pisses me off. Look what you did. Look what you let happen. Someone could have been really hurt. And then, look, all the dirt out into our pond. This is where our alligators are. This is where the, the turtles are. There might be fish in there, probably. But look what you've done. Here comes concerned neighbors. I am, I'm reading. I'm sorry. I don't know if you heard me down there, but I'm reading. Just... Police are on the way. Police are on the way? Okay. Police are on their way. This is ridiculous. Let me see. They got some slippage over here, looks like. This is crazy. What are you doing to us? We had three inches of rain. Three. And this is what happens. Not even three inches. 2.79. Close enough. But this makes me mad. What kind of builders you got out here, Williamson? Can you imagine all this happen if they, someone had just like come in? Right. You know, even the people. Just, that would have been like their dog died. Right. Even if there had been houses up there, uh, who knows if this wouldn't have happened. Uh, I'm, I'm irate. I'm, I mean, look what they're doing to us. Three, um, not even three inches of rain and, yeah. and this. <coughs> People were worried about their, uh, they were worried about the kids and stuff. I told them we were calling the authorities, so we can do what, all we can do. We're going to be here until the authorities come. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what else we can do but call the police. It's Sunday. Um, unless the police get a hold of the crappy people who built this road. The water has come down through right here. Yeah, you can see the lines. I mean, that's what happens when you make land higher than exactly. the around you. Yep. It yep. makes their property. Flood. You hear that, County Council? You hear that, Planning Commission? That's what happens when you build houses higher. You, do, do you see how much higher it is? And all the water comes flowing down here, and it wipes out a roof. Oh yeah, the little, little tiny trench that they put here. The water's flowing. That, that's why it's coming apart down there. The woman who lives in this first corner house right here, she sent me videotape of the water going into her property from 
from rain. And and that's her video is in the um documentary. Mm -hmm. What well, her uh, property flooding. Well, this whole thing is like from right here. This is a great picture. You know, right in here, because you can see exactly how much of the road is eroded. Yep. Almost clear across to the other side. And the other side is has, has had some damage done to it too. You hear this, County Council Planning Commission? You hear it? This is, it's wrong. What is happening here is wrong. Get off your butts. We are your people. And you let an outsider do this to our community. You know, forget about the nature for a minute. How about our safety? How about our safety? Forget nature for a minute. This is not safe for us. This is not safe for people. The people who live here. You know what? We need to call the Corps of Engineers. Ask the Corps of Engineers to come out here and look at this whole construction thing because they can tell us. I mean, they can tell one look that it's not going to work. And how they build up the land by why would they do it and have it run down? I mean, that's just well, different. that's it because there's a flood because we're well, in a flood zone now. And, and exactly, they're, they're building, they're bringing in more and more dirt to get above that flood level so that they can build these houses they, and people won't have to. They're they're gonna let the water drain into the uh, uh, natural creek. Peach Creek, this is part of Peach Creek, is a natural creek. So why not let the water just go in the creek? You know, big deal. And the reason why we have all the water behind us, Susan, is because all the drains are pointed. They drain into our area. They drain into our area to go into the wetlands of the refuge. Big deal. It's a refuge. It's wetlands. Well, you see where the problems are coming from now? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I know you are, and I am too, but I think mm. this is something that can get something done. Um, I hope. This, this really, uh, I am going to, once I'm done with this live video. You get in touch with the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, I have a phone number. I can get a hold of Craig Sasser, who because, will give um, get me somebody. I, I have to wait till tomorrow. Because the Army Corps, I know, I know. I know. The Army Corps of I'm Engineers mad. come in here. Yeah. They can shut it down. They can just say that's it. You can't do anything else until we get. No, oh, we got to get them to say it's got to stop, though. Well, I mean, what are they going to say? I mean, oh, it'll be fixed. We no, can yeah, fix Yeah, but they have to. We need to get them to. But look. you know, that's that's not the point. The thing is, is it gets fixed, but that puts people's lives in jeopardy. That's a that's a what do you call it? A, well, let me tell you. The Army Corps of Engineers gave permits for this to happen. Well, the here Army Corps of Engineers needs to come out here and reassess it. Because, um, I don't know, maybe we can call one of the state senators or representatives. Tim Scott. Call he's, Tim Scott, yeah. I think he's, he's pretty well, like. I've talked to his, um, Tim Scott's, um, yeah, the next guy down from him before. I have talked to him on the phone before, and they weren't. Really? Well, maybe yeah. I'm make a phone call. Maybe, maybe if yeah, a lot more do, people I called. I need to, and I'll call I'll send them pictures. Too. I'm going to send pictures. I'm going to, you know. I mean, this is this is beyond. This is one heavy rain. It's yeah. not like it rained days and days and days and days. This I know. is from one heavy rain. Yeah. And, Not um, even three inches of rain, and this is what happened. Yeah, because uh, Charles Slater said mm -hmm. that he was like three, exactly three inches on mm -hmm. his season. He measures that stuff, so yep. that's a good thing, too. You know, he's got... Well, to give you an equivalent, we had, when Florence came in here, uh -huh. we had 26 inches of rain oh over a week's period of time. Uh -huh. And can you imagine what 26 inches of rain will do to this spot? <laughs> And that was that was after Hurricane Florence. That was so, after. Because yep, when all the water came down from North Carolina. Came down from North Carolina. Yep, yep. And Peach Creek, it starts back back there, and comes 
down and right right across here is where it gets wide and comes out here and then it goes down to where we live uh -huh. back down there and so all that water is coming it's coming down through here and coming into the creek making this higher but because there's no trees here and they've built this area higher okay. all that runoff can see dirt. I mean, is coming down here I, I looked the other day when i pulled in there is a mountain of dirt that's over there. i mean a literal mountain right there. yeah that they are bringing yeah there it is yeah. that they're bringing it in and making this land so this is what they're going to do with us dog mm -hmm. and that's what oh yeah there. behind us I, already flooded. Yeah. But this is this is like stupidity. There's just I just I'm not comprehending what how they can justify this. You know what I'm saying? I mean it's like simple facts that a hiccup. We're gonna call it a hiccup. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. I'm telling you, these people who think they know everything we're just we're just nobodies who don't know what the hell we're talking yeah, about. Just you know over anywhere strong enough to hold back all of this. Nope. I mean, it just isn't. It's too thin a space. This is crazy. That's why it needs to be seen. Everybody share this video. See what our county's doing to us? They let this guy build just to fix our road. If he fixed our road, they'll let him build 500 more houses or whatever. We're already overdeveloped. And is that, what is, is that mesh? Is, is that what they think is gonna hold? Do you see it? See the? Yeah, I'm sure it's part of it, but I think it's also probably to put Oh, part of the grant, oh, yeah, you know okay. That. Uh, they ain't got nothing to hold. Gonna hold that. It's not. <laughs> they are ridiculous. And for, I mean, it took the ground up underneath the the road. Okay, it took the ground up underneath the road and and took it out. It. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. You hear me? Is that even what they call a road? Or, I mean, I guess the asphalt's going to go over top of that, right? I think they probably, I don't know what, it's probably concrete reinforcing that because what's going to happen is they're going to have to build another house over here. Yeah. And then they're going to have to build another house over here. And then they're going to have to build another house over here. And they had, is this like, what is this between this and it may have been just something that, that washed down or something because I there's no there's no need for that really I'm that is weird what is that well, for okay I see what looks like See the squares? Is that wire mesh? Oh yeah, yeah I see it over there. Mess. That was that was actually supposed to be like level, wasn't it? Wasn't it in the cement? And it's it was like wire meshed along. I don't know, but um, making sure it's on record, documented, whatever. I don't know how that's supposed to. I'm making sure it's all seen. Anyone who does construction can see what are they doing wrong? What they do wrong? Oh, I'm hot. I'm hot. <laughs> I know I need to calm down, but this I mean some pictures with your camera of the height here. Oh yeah. And this whole wash and then from the other side cross over here because it's like the other side is almost as bad. It's not washed out like this, but it's coming apart. Well, guess what, guys? What? She just told me to talk to them, and they said this is an HOA issue. 
Yeah. Tell us in an HOA. I told them that, but she's. Who, it's, who's not, she? it's not. Who's a, it's not a county road. But it is not an HOA issue. Who said it was an HOA? The 911 dispatcher. So she Are you me. kidding me? You, one of you guys want to try to call him and argue with him? No, I don't. Because I know why they're what? saying that. But um, nobody. There's, n there's not even a house here. How is it an HOA issue? It's it. This road is literally coming. Because and this is not owned by the county. This this road. None of these roads in here what? are owned by the county. But somebody's got to approve this for construction and stuff, and that's city council, and it's also the Army Corps of Engineers. It's just an HOA. This the HOA can't do anything. Right, exactly. And that's. There's no HOA yet. There's no houses. How can it be an HOA problem? And they won't come here to put a blockade up so no one drives no. through. No. No. And falls I mean, they into did the during hole. The flooding. I mean, they came out and put up. No, that Louie and them did that. The homeowners did that. I don't know if what, we should drag those buckets across. I'll drag them. I'll drag them up from that side. They, well, particularly at night. I I mean, that's my point. Um, who knows who we can call? Does somebody out there know who we can call? Well, I mean, there's not going to be anybody at the the legislative offices today. No, I no mean, that it's a Sunday. There's this. Oh my God! Nine one one is the only one that really. I mean, maybe. I I can't believe they're not concerned about safety. Apparently not. Maybe the fire department. You guys try this time. <laughs> I'm saying things wrong. I don't know if I'm. You know. I don't know if the fire department will do it or not. If they, if or if Orange County Rescue wouldn't come and and do anything, then. I can't believe. It. I can't. We can, if you want me to call the fire department, I'll ask them. Is there anybody that could come out here and put? You know? Yeah, tell them there are no houses built here yet. There, so there's no HOA. But Somebody, anybody's going to see this if they pull off. I mean, there's just no. You know, at night, if they, you know, somebody decided. To, yeah, and you know how kids are nowadays on their bicycles and and crap. They're going to. I mean, if this should fall anymore. You know, if it should collapse anymore, then, I mean, then, uh, uh, who, who are going to people leave, make responsible for that? They are. The, but make the who? People who would? make them responsible is going to be somebody like the Corps of Engineers is going to come in and say, this is unsafe, we've got to shut it down until it's all repaired and all that. But, um, I, this is, this is the biggest thing to me is how much they've built up this land. Yep. Because that's what caused it to flood into here and make that go out. It just is all going to run down and fill up this whole water area. Right here. Unless I can drag. I don't know if I can go before. I if I drag one of those. Or two of those I can't because of my back. No, I'm, how not, bad I, I'm not bad. asking you. I'm oh, just I, saying. I, I, to drag it, I can get one of those. Is that a guy up? Is that a man walking yeah, up there? Maybe, maybe see if he'll help us. I just don't want to see anything get hurt. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying we can't do anything. You know, women, yeah. we, but right now we kind of need a man. Is that everything you need to photograph? Uh, I'm going to, I'll, I'll make. Before I leave here, I will make sure to take photographs. But if we can, if if we can get a gentleman to like maybe help us. Hello, hello. Oh, wait a minute. Is it, who is, oh, I thought it was a cop car. No, they're not going to bother. <laughs> Can we ask you for a little bit of help, sir? Right. Uh, the road collapsed. 
and the police are not coming out to put a barrier up the road. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah.